Good day, everyone. Before we start, we have a disclosure. You have to be aware of risk in the future trading. Please stop the video and read the disclosure. Today was a really weird day, not much moving. Before we start, I'd like to show you uh, some of what happened today. For the ones who don't know the system here, uh, we have uh, three different automated trading on the market analyzer. Uh, it's a full automated ATM and an ATM strategy. You can see what is the ES entry signal. As an example here, we have buy. Entry price 33.75, target 44.50. And then on the pullback re-entry, we have 26.36.50. From the last entry signal, it's not the whole day, it's from the last entry signal, there is a 16 ticks, and as an example, NASDAQ, from the entry signal is uh, uh, 66.85.25, target 67.16.75, uh, there is 63 ticks from the last entry signal. So those here uh, today, we are running a fully automated that the, diff the difference between a fully automated and an ATM, on the ATM you can move, a, as an example, uh, your uh, trailing stop, um, target, you can move them, but uh, the minute right now the bar close, you will see that you see the target goes back because we are uh, running a full automated trade and we're not using an ATM. But for the traders have an option that you can use the same entry signal and then uh, you can uh, use the ATM. But before we start on this, right now we have, we're done for today. Right now from the last entry signal, we have 163 ticks. And this is based on one minute and one contract only on the market analyzer. But on the, uh, on, uh, on the auto trade, you can use one or two or four or six or five, whatever uh, contracts you want to use. But uh, the the market analyzer is always based on one minute. The same thing, uh, same story for Forex is one minute with a mini account, 10K. Right now we have 51 pips. And also you can use it on uh, the stock future and Forex. So, before we start on those here, here on the control panel, we are using the swing trading. We will cover the swing trading. But uh, let me show you some, like an institutional time frame. Let me take this timer out of the way. And really what has started, let me go back a little bit. This is an institutional numbers actually as you see when we hit the okay you're not gonna see the crosser right now we hit the uh, let me change it it started at uh, 26 53 75 you can see from here we have the the signal at 6375, this, this is a different system. Confirmed by a lot of level resistant here. We hit it exactly on the ES to the 2612. Then it came into that level all day long and it's been struggling on that number, the 2639.25. And as you see, it's been really flat and then a little drop we had exactly to our number the trailing stop the trailing stop is based on uh, fib lines confirming with the fib line and a symmetry and uh, what we are expecting tomorrow actually if we are fixing to break that level 4275 we are expecting this es uh, to hit the 63.50 tomorrow, Friday. And uh, 
So now the whole game is waiting on the 43 level. If we don't, then we are going to be, if this market not able to break uh, those level, the 43 level tomorrow, then we are looking for another volatility day tomorrow. So uh, the key right here on the ES is the 2643. Once we break up the 43 level, we are looking on a potential for 263 level tomorrow. So this is what uh, we are expecting for tomorrow. Right now, we, as you see uh, from the auto trade, we have 33.75, and the entry is a 33.75 target 44.50, and uh, this is exactly where the target 44.50. Um, once also. It all depends on if we are going to break that level. Uh, I don't know if we will tomorrow, but we will find out tomorrow. Uh, uh, NASDAQ, uh, NASDAQ is doing extremely fine. Also, uh, our target right now, but it's too late, uh, 16.75. And uh, the YM is also based on one minute chart. And we have the target at 24.553. So this is what uh, happened today. So right now, we are closing on the last signal at 186. Takes based on one contract and uh, last entry signal, not the whole day. Those here, also, they need to be flattened out. Those are the... Uh, the swing trading, let me cover some of the swing trading, please. We're going to be covering, uh, uh, this is the three minutes, uh, just finished. Uh, we did one and two trade, 1,300 on, on, the, uh, on the ES. And uh, here is your one minute. We also closed at uh, 960, and it was really nice uh, run from 5263. Uh, to 52.27, and we were done much very early today, and that was nice, because when the market started this morning, was moving, then died out immediately. On the five minutes, we still on one trade, and uh, actually that trade, can you, if you see how how slow this market is, this last trade was from 10.20, and is still on the same trade, from 10.20, 52.67, and look at this. This is really from 12 o'clock until now, there is nothing on the CL moving. And, and this is how bad uh, this market is really a little bit... Um, it's not um, in a perfect condition uh, since um, after New Year Eve, the market could be, and I, I cannot, I don't want to go and start analyzing, but um, last year was much better. And um, so we're waiting for some kind of movement in the market, and we are waiting on the market to kick in, actually has not kicked in really like last year. On the ES was not any movement actually, guys. And uh, the one minute was struggling all day long. And finally, uh, we got lucky by a couple nice smooth trade when the market is trending. But uh, finally, around the 15, 19, we closed the one minute and um, and this is swing trading, really should have been much more, but uh, that's all what we could have got on the one minute. Uh, let me see, the five minutes also has been struggling, the five minutes, and this is the last day, but uh, the last trade, but it's too late for anything anymore. Uh, on the 244, we, were, we got lucky with uh, this one today, and we were done by 9.51. Early start and exit, three trade. That was very nice and smooth. 
And then on the, the 288, also we were struggling all day long, one winning trade, one losing trade, until we hit the 600. And um, for swing trading, really, uh, that tell you how uh, this market is uh, pretty uh, flat in a way. It looked like we're gonna about to hit the targets on the YM, NASDAQ, and ES. Nothing holding this market, just a little resistance here. Let's look at the NASDAQ. Uh, this is uh, the five minutes, but uh, it's been in and out, out of the market. And actually today, the NASDAQ and uh, the YM did not take that much trade on the five minutes. But then on the 244, it did take a few, but you can see how a struggle it was until you get to just 500. And uh, look, also on the 150 ticks, it was a struggle, but then finally, the minute we, this is also struggling and um, the market, and then at the end when the market moved, we are already uh, hit it. So the problem is today, even on the swing trading, uh, the market was taking uh, taking a losing trade and then make a winning trade, taking a winning uh, trade then losing trade, and has nothing to do with your uh, uh, system. But the way this market, how we showed you today, and uh, the ES is the best indicator in the house where can indicate how the overall the market, because nevertheless, the ES is the 500 company, presented the 500 company. So this is a big mess, even for a 15 minutes of chart, you can see how, how flat this market is, and a little movement we got, we took advantage of it. But from that areas here, at the moment, if you don't have the right tools, you're gonna be whacked in this uh, market. You have to be very careful how um, uh, to approach this market. You cannot uh, just close your eye and hoping is you're gonna hit um, uh, your rock with it. Uh, the tax never. We never have a problem with the tax. It's not because uh, we we like the tax, but the tax move a lot, and I will cover the tax the minute we see. If this market uh, about, let's look at the DAX. Now there is something plus and minus about the DAX. I mean, uh, for the U.S. market, of course, you can start at nine o'clock, and we start at nine o'clock. Scalping, we can use them around uh, seven, eight o'clock morning, Eastern time. Uh, and the, on the DAX, there is a plus and minus in it. If you really want to catch a real good trend on it, you have to start around four or five o'clock in the morning. So no matter how bad the market is as slow, like the ES, like what we have showed you, uh, always the DAX move. And what I like about it, that it does not take uh, that many trades to achieve your target for today. You need to just wait a little bit for, for the DAX to start kicking in the first 10 minutes, and then 10, 10, 15 minutes, and then no matter what you do, little movement, and then it's done. So I'm not crazy about the DAX, but uh, for the guys have responsibility, uh, you know, like we do, we don't have the, the, the luxury to say, sit down all day long and, uh, uh, not being disturbed. So for the DAX, it's an easy, and then you need to have a management to say enough is enough. Because DAX, if you keep trading it, you're going to uh, probably wind up like you are sitting on a poker table. And uh, that's why I love the DAX. Easy, fast, and you are out of the game as soon as possible. The more you're staying in the market, the more uh, it's like you're sitting in a Las Vegas. The more you are sitting uh, on a table, uh, your chances gonna wind up losing everything at the end of the day. 
So that's why uh, I like the DAX around 4, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the morning, Eastern time. It is perfect. I don't know if I want to trade the DAX during the U.S. session, but uh, as you see, one trade, you're done, where we have seen today uh, on the ES that you're going to sit down all day long, uh, like a day like today, uh, the, the ES was struggling, and then you're going to be taking a trade in and out in order to achieve 500 or 600 on, on a bad day like today when the market is flat, where it, it requires on the DAX one good trade and you're done. So if this is the whole idea. It doesn't matter what is the numbers. Normally, we have much higher numbers on the DAX, like 1,500, 2,500, 3,500. Fine, fair enough. But as you see, one trade and it was done. If we look, this one was the one minute. If we look at the 244, it's the same story. One split uh, trade, and then we are done. Got it done for today. Gain your access to, this is one trade, 625. And uh, the 288, okay, made 3,300. Big deal. Because today the 288 takes made uh, 3,300. And it could be tomorrow the 244 make the 3,300. And then uh, the... The 288 takes probably is going to close around six, seven hundred. doesn't matter. What I like about it, one, two, three, and it is done. I'm not crazy about the DAX, but uh, the DAX, you have to keep your eyes open. It's a very fast market, expensive market. But um, the return is amazing. And um, the less you are in the market, so let's put it this way. If you, if you are trading two, three contracts on the ES every time you go into the market, the probability that you will be uh, gaining 10 times more if you take one DAX equal to four ES. So I don't know, uh, but uh, for a guy, uh, it's not uh, fast enough his hands do not react with his eyes, yes, then you need to stay on the ES because it's a much slower market and then you can take your time and, um, uh, and uh, trying to digest what's going on in the market. Also on the minus side with the ES, ES become automated, uh, institutional and um, Right now, if you don't have the proper tools, the proper auto trade can define the one minute uh, and can expose the one minute and then you, the three minutes and the five minutes and then the institutional time frame doesn't matter. Uh, so if you cannot, if you don't have the eye for it on the ES because it become all algorithm automatic and then you're going to get in trouble. So if we see here, this is what they are looking at. They're not looking at your rank bar. They're not looking at your ticks. They're not looking at your range. That's what they are looking at. So in order for you to see how is this market moving, you don't need to look at it from your rank eyes. You need to look at it what they are looking, those market movers. You know, you have to go up to them. They're not going to go down to you. So this is where, what they are looking at, right there. There is a trouble in heaven here. There is trouble here. This is the, the keys. Those are the keys we rely on to make decision. Soon or later, doing the, um, when a trader get the experience, he will snap out of those rank bars. The rank bars are good for um, reversals, uh, but um, from the technical point of view, if you cannot look at 15 minutes of chart, then you are in trouble. You have no clue how is this market moving. You have no clue. And especially if you want to auto trade, as an example, um, I mean, if, if, you, if you were aware how this market in this area here today, 
then you will not get frustrated over your auto trade, does not matter where it comes from. Of course, there is a disaster auto trades and there is a good auto trades everywhere. But if you have missed that area here and you dived in with a lousy auto trade, uh, you're going to be in trouble uh, financially that it is a blowing accounts right there. And uh, it could be, and especially if a guy have a small amount of money, could be losing 15, 20%. This is a very serious business. Sadly, um, uh, when you're trying to put things as perspective, people brush you off. And this is very sad. Uh, well, uh, you know, that's how life it is. Nothing we can do. So I'm not going to be covering anymore. I just will go uh, very uh, uh, fast with the scalping. Uh, most of them hit the target, uh, but uh, some of them did not. And um, also there is a CL here. And uh, what is funny, if we see also the scalping has uh, been uh, struggling today, even on the scalping, as you see, this is very funny. Uh, right now, we just closed the last trade on the 30-year Treasury bond. And uh, this is the last 500 on, on the Treasury bond. If we look, this is six, they're all on a daily target, 500, the swing trading and the scalping. Also, the scalping today, uh, they were struggling. Uh, it was really struggle, and uh, it took a lot of trade. Uh, let's look to some of them. Let's take the CL. Uh, if we look, I mean, uh, also, uh, the last trade was around 11 o'clock, I think. Yes, it was around 11 o'clock. A lot of losing trade, a lot of winning trade, and then losing trade and, and winning trade. You can see how struggling the market is. And uh, nonstop, every time you make a trade, you lose one more time. So it is a struggling market, folks. And uh, please uh, be careful uh, for tomorrow. And my expectation... I mean, now overnight, nothing going to happen, not unless if the news, uh, there is some major news. But my expectation on that ES overnight is going to keep staying between uh, 32, 33 level. Any sell out, uh, what will be holding around 26, 26, 75 overnight. And um, I'm expecting tomorrow. And uh, put down this number for you, uh, the 4250, it will be the major breakout. But uh, for tomorrow, if this ES is staying between 4250 and, uh, and the 26, 26, 75, this mean uh, the market is going to be very bad uh, with the volatility. And is every time you will be taking a trade, the market is going to turn around on you. We need to see some breakout from those uh, area here. Uh, and uh, actually, the ES right now stuck in between those level here, the 43 level and the um, and, uh, the 29 all the way down to 26. This is the max. But uh, overnight, what we are looking at, 33.25 and 32.50, this is where overnight probably is going to be flooring with those numbers. So we need to see this breakout tomorrow. So anything, if this market dropped be below the... the those numbers here, around 26, 26, 75, we are looking for a major sale out. So um, I, I, I doubt it if it's going to happen tomorrow. I think it's going to stay between those two, 33, 25, 32, 25, around those area here. 
and probably we will be breaking out tomorrow the 43 and the target for tomorrow Friday is 63 level it is 26 63 50 I hope this uh, uh, can help you with tomorrow trading and uh, I wish you the, the best and please keep your eye open and be a little bit more conservative to win this hard time at the moment. God bless you all and see you all another day. Bye for now.